The ultimate Sea-Doo fan should never leave the Sea-Doo behind when pulling a travel trailer. So put the Sea-Doo in the pickup bed and hook up the trailer behind. I built a dolly to load and unload the Sea-Doo into the bed of the truck pulled by a winch. In my case, clearances were tight between the reverse gate of the Sea-Doo and the front of the trailer, about two inches. Fortunately, everything moves up and down together. Leave the trailer at the campsite and then go put the Sea-Doo in the water. Anything we do, so can the Sea-Doo. As it's coming off the ramp, making its way to the bottom. The controller in the Sea-Doo is ready to be launched. There it is. Going on its own on the little handmade lift. There's the operator in the truck and here's the Sea-Doo. It's now in the water. Sea-Doo is ready. And the operator of the Sea-Doo is thrilled and we will get ready to board it anytime. Now you see why I have the basket in the back. Baja, say hi. Everyone likes to ride a sea doo. Bye, see you guys later. Have a safe trip. And away they go.